We're at our second Predicting the Future lunch in Durban. It's being held at Market. We're extremely excited to have another six influential, young, dynamic uh, fire starters joining us today, as well as a couple guest attendees, uh, just to kind of add fire to the conversation. We're, we're, uh, we're told that Durban uh, attendees that they're definitely under pressure because Cape Town was phenomenal and uh, we're really, really looking forward to hearing what, what the guys have to say. I'm intrigued to see how they connect as well as um, you know, interact with each other today. So, here's to another cracking event. Hey, my name is uh, Bogomu Sakorfi Maru. Um, home is in Stanga, uh, where I grew up. Uh, you can meet a lot of people who can criticize you and a lot of things, which is positive because uh, well, compared to working a day-to-day -day job, business is very difficult and um, it's challenging and basically it can give you a, a sense of being able to go back to the community and sort of like basically reinvest in where you came from and basically try and better the lives of other people and try to better the lives of the people around you. Uh, the people are lovely and friendly and South Africa basically has a lot of historical background in terms of culture, heritage and all of that. So it's a great country to go up in because it teaches you a lot of things. Uh, some are bad, some are good, but uh, all put together, it can make you one of the most powerful individuals in the world. Uh, my name is Tebon uh, Tewo. I'm from a... I, I was born in a small town outside uh, Ishawe. It's called Godini. Actually, I'm passionate about the young South Africans, uh, mostly the, the ones outside the, outside the big cities, like uh, young people in rural areas. Those people who don't have uh, the platform to know everything, who don't, who's not in the information, who's not in the things that are happening in South Africa. I think most of those people, most of those young people that are outside there, they are the ones who got the most brains about South Africa because they got most life experience. They, they, they learn the things in the hard way. Yeah, so I think. I, I, I really like to work with those people. I really like to be with those young minds and I think there is most in there. Life is not like before now. Everyone got an access to everything. So we can, we can actually get anything we want. You can do and you can be anything you want. It's all up in your mind. About South Africa, the people in South Africa. I, I love the people of South Africa. I love the, the adventure of South Africa, the tourism side of Africa. South Africa is like people are loving each other. Okay, my name is Sesetu Sitsamba. Um, I'm currently studying at UKZN, doing my third year in supply chain management. The government of lately is, is you know, publicly announcing um, support for, for, for small businesses, um, support for actually the business sector. And government is creating an enabling environment as well uh, by means of having support structures with NYDA um, and having other um, agencies as well that are there to gear up um, individuals for, for entrepreneurship. You know, South Africa is a cosmopolitan you know, country whereby we only live under the rainbow nation. Um, what I love about South Africa is the unity. You know, especially in special, in special events and in special holidays, for instance, the unity whereby you have your, your black, your white, your brown, your so odd people, you know, get it together for a common good. That is what I love about South Africa as well as the degree of trust, the degree of, of leaning to, to, to one another for support, um, for exchanging of cultures and tradition as well. That's what I like about South Africa. We have become, you know, a freely, um, a free-born country, a democratic country that is fully understanding of where it's going as well. So that's what I like about South Africa. My name is Nicole Sitole. Um, I was born and raised in Pine Town, Durban. I am so fulfilled being an entrepreneur. I am motivated every day by young people, by what I see, by my environment, by the challenges that we have in South Africa. I see actually endless, endless opportunities in South Africa, you know, for young people and I love everything about South Africa. I love the challenges that we have actually because there's opportunities and I love South Africa, it, it is it's the best place to be <laughs> and I am a proudly South African entrepreneur. My name is 
Sisi Mcholi and I live in the South Coast in Mlazi. And call me a nerd. <laughs> like I'm always in the books, like that's the type of person I am. I'm not a person who's really like outspoken, but my friends like once you get to know me and like people think like I'm crazy and I'm bubbly and whatnot and whatever. So I'm like, yeah, I'm that type of person. I can go and go up to school and be announced in the same way that she was with Ignite SA and that and then like the school will recognize me and that will obviously be an advantage for me because they'll send me out to go to other places where I'll be talking and getting to know other people and from there I'm like getting contacts and that, that for me is like, that's an advantage for me. Basically I just think that um, you need to like you need to work hard in order for, for you to, to get something and achieve something in your life and be successful. My name is Abigail Knox and I'm from Durban, KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa. I'm passionate about a sustainable future and sustainable financial future for individuals. I want people to be empowered and uplifted and I just love South Africans that can take initiative and see opportunities, see a need and see an opportunity in that need. We're all recognizing that we have so many opportunities and have been privileged in whatever way, whether it was financial security or not. And I think people are ready to make their own future, to make their own space and overcome all these things that have been barriers and the shackles of our society. Well, we've had a great day in Durban. Um, for us, this has been a great learning journey um, because in talking and in debating as well as creating new ideas around um, what predicting the future is about and understanding um, the thoughts, the dreams, the goals, the targets of young people, we're learning what it is that we need to focus ourselves towards and we're learning what we need to focus our content on what we need to focus our entire growth path for Ignite to say on as well. And where we should be starting new fires. We're also discovering that there are new fires to start every day on so many different ideas. Um, we've loved listening to the different stories. We've loved listening to the different tipping points of all the young people around the table. We've also loved having different angles um, today on different challenges. Um, we're choosing not to call anything a problem but rather to call things challenges and worth conquering um, and creating the solutions that we have to so we're looking forward to the next one in Durban we're looking forward to starting more fires um, and we're just looking forward really to keeping these type of conversations going it's been a great day so far